Have you ever stopped to think about the unseen world that thrives all around us? Microscopic organisms, too small for the naked eye, have been shaping our planet and our health for billions of years. This is the story of microbiology, the science that unveils the secrets of these tiny titans. Our fascination with the unseen goes way back. Ancient civilizations in India, like the Jainas, believed in the existence of microorganisms that cause disease. Roman scholar Marcus Terentius Varro pondered the idea of invisible creatures in decaying matter. These early thoughts laid the groundwork for future discoveries. Fast forward to the 17th the century. A scientific revolution was brewing. Enter Robert Hooke, a brilliant scientist who peered into a self-made microscope and published a groundbreaking book called Micrographia in 1665. Hooke's detailed illustrations revealed a hidden world, a world of previously unseen structures he called cells. But the true game-changer was yet to come. Meet Antony van Leeuwenhoek, a Dutch draper with an insatiable curiosity. He meticulously crafted his own microscopes, achieving incredible magnification for the time. In the late 1600s, Leeuwenhoek made a revolutionary discovery. He observed a teeming world of tiny living things, bacteria, protists, and other single celled organisms. Lee Wenhoek's groundbreaking work earned him the title Father of Microbiology. The world he unveiled challenged existing beliefs and opened a new chapter in our understanding of life. But wait, where did these microbes come from? Back then, the prevailing theory was spontaneous generation. The idea that life could arise from non-living matter. This concept just wouldn't sit right with some scientists. Enter Lazzaro Spallanzani, an Italian scientist who wasn't buying the spontaneous generation story. He conducted a series of experiments using sealed flasks with broth. Some flasks were left open, others were sealed. After boiling the broth, Spallanzani observed that microbes only grew in the open flasks exposed to air. Spallanzani's work challenged the idea of spontaneous generation, but the debate continued for some time. In the 18th century, a different battle raged. The fight against smallpox, a devastating disease with a high mortality rate. Edward Jenner, a British physician, took a revolutionary approach. He noticed that milkmaids who had previously contracted cowpox a milder disease seemed immune to smallpox. Based on this observation, Jenna developed the first vaccine, the smallpox vaccine. This marked a turning point in preventive medicine, demonstrating the power of inoculation to fight infectious disease. Now let's talk about a scientific giant, Louis Pasteur. This 19th century French chemist revolutionized microbiology with his groundbreaking work. First, he tackled the question of spontaneous generation once and for all. Pasteur designed his famous swan-necked flask experiment. These flasks allowed air to pass through but trapped any microbes in the curved neck. He boiled broth in both straight-necked and swan-necked flasks. Only the straight-necked flasks became cloudy with microbes. This provided strong evidence against spontaneous generation. Pasteur's work solidified the concept that microbes only arise from other microbes. But Pasteur didn't stop there. While studying wine spoilage, he realized microbes were responsible for fermentation, leading to the development of pasteurization, a process of heating liquids to kill microorganisms that cause spoilage, making food safer. And his greatest contribution was the germ theory of disease which revolutionized our understanding of how diseases spread. Pasteur demonstrated that specific microorganisms were the culprits for specific diseases. A revolutionary idea. Enter Robert Koch, a German physician who built on Pasteur's germ theory of disease. Koch formulated a set of principles to establish a definitive link between a specific microbe and a specific disease. These principles are known as Koch's postulates. 
Koch's postulates became the gold standard for identifying disease-causing microbes. His work led to the groundbreaking discoveries of the microbes responsible for deadly diseases like tuberculosis and anthrax. The late 19th century was a golden age for microbiology. Advances in laboratory techniques made isolating and identifying microbes easier, leading to a rapid succession of groundbreaking discoveries. This exciting era spurred a sense of urgency in tackling infectious diseases. Two key figures emerged, Ignaz Semmelweis, a Hungarian doctor, and Joseph Lister, a British surgeon. Both understood that infection was preventable. Semmelweis's insistence on handwashing in hospitals was met with resistance initially, but his work drastically reduced infections and saved countless lives. Lister pioneered antiseptic practices in surgery, disinfecting medical tools and wounds. These practices revolutionized surgery and drastically reduced post-surgery infections. In 1928, a stroke of luck changed medicine forever. Alexander Fleming, a Scottish bacteriologist, returned to his laboratory after a vacation and noticed something unusual on a forgotten petri dish. A mold called penicillium was inhibiting bacterial growth, a serendipitous discovery. Through further research, Fleming isolated penicillin, the first antibiotic. This discovery ushered in a new era of fighting bacterial infections. Antibiotics have since saved countless lives. In the early 20th century, scientists realized there were even tinier infectious agents than bacteria. Viruses, smaller than any microbe previously seen, couldn't be visualized using traditional microscopes. Advances in technology allowed us to uncover the invisible world of viruses and study their role in diseases. The second half of the 20th century saw a major shift in microbiology. The discovery of DNA structure in 1953 transformed the field. Scientists started unlocking the genetic secrets of microbes, revolutionizing our understanding of how they function and evolve. Genetic engineering and biotechnology emerged, allowing scientists to manipulate microbes for various purposes, creating new medicines, developing industrial processes, and tackling environmental challenges. Microbiology is an ever-evolving field. Research today is more expansive than ever. We're not just fighting diseases, but harnessing the power of microbes. Let's explore a few areas where microbiology is shaping the future. Our bodies are home to a vast, complex community of microbes, bacteria, fungi, viruses, collectively known as our microbiome. This hidden ecosystem plays a critical role in our health, influencing everything from digestion to immunity. Research into the microbiome aims to understand how microbes support health and how imbalances contribute to diseases. The potential of microbes extends beyond medicine. Biofuels. Researchers are utilizing microbes to break down organic matter and produce alternative energy sources. Bioremediation. Microbes are enlisted to clean up pollutants, helping to restore damaged environments. Agriculture. Microbes are being developed to enhance crop yields and protect plants from pests, aiming towards sustainable farming practices. Industrial applications. Genetic engineering techniques harness microbes for industrial purposes, producing valuable chemicals, biomaterials, and more. A major threat looms. Antibiotic resistance. The overuse and misuse of antibiotics have led to the evolution of bacteria that are no longer killed by these miracle drugs. Antibiotic-resistant bacterial infections pose a serious challenge for global public health. Researchers are urgently seeking new antibiotics and alternative treatment methods. Epidemiologists are the disease detectives of the world. When a new disease emerges, they track its spread, identify the source, and develop strategies to prevent further outbreaks. Their work is essential for controlling infectious diseases and protecting global health. There's so much more to uncover in the microscopic world. 
The future of microbiology holds endless possibilities. It's a field where new discoveries could lead to treatments for stubborn diseases, revolutionary solutions to environmental problems, or even life forms on other planets. The story of microbiology is an ongoing adventure shaped by brilliant minds and a thirst for knowledge. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on the amazing world of science and microbiology. Keep those comments coming. What area of microbiology surprised you the most? Remember, even the smallest things can have a massive impact on our world. The story of microbiology is a testament to human curiosity and our boundless drive to understand the unseen forces shaping our lives. Until next time, keep exploring.